And by Arizona, he means Indiana. So <laughs> let's get that straight right off the bat. So Walmart, um, because going to Target requires a shower. That's, that's why we choose Walmart. We also choose Walmart because it's cheap therapy, okay? You're feeling down on yourself. You're not successful, you're not in shape, you don't look good. Go to Walmart, <laughs> take a look around and you'll leave feeling much better about yourself. <laughs> right? I know. I'm uh, from a small town in Indiana, let's reiterate that. And uh, it's Logansport, Indiana, you've never heard of it. Um, and uh, we just received one of the highest honors. We just got the second largest Walmart in the nation. Yeah! Now stop clapping, because it's not the largest. We're not that cool. Um, we never will be. Uh, <laughs> being from a small town um, in Indiana, when I was moving to LA, everybody like questioned the move. You know, they're really involved. They were like, ask my mom, you know, aren't you a little nervous about Lauren moving to LA? And my mom, she'd answer the same way every time. She'd be like, oh no, if someone kidnapped Lauren, they'd probably drive down a few blocks and toss her back out. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks. That's the, that's the family I come from. It's, it's great. I actually just got back from Indiana and I spent a lot of time with my sister and her three kids. So, thank you. You guys know what that means. Um, <laughs> Hanging out with her was like hanging out with someone who has Tourette's, okay? Uh, it was hard to get through a conversation with her, you know? She'd start out being like, you know, yeah, I had to pick the kids up from daycare, and Mason, sit down here, don't get any biscuits! <laughs> and yeah, then we had to stop by Dad's office, say, hey, no popsicles for anyone! How's LA? <laughs> like, she didn't even know, notice or like anything about the outburst. She just kept on going through every conversation we had. And like every time she'd yell, I'd be like, <sighs> and she'd just like go on, you know what I mean? Just, just glide right through. I feel like moms get away with a lot of stuff if they're shouting it at their children, you know what I mean? Like at one point she said something like, all right, no one's going anywhere ever again. <laughs> It's like the most empty threat ever, and all the kids are like, no, no, we're sorry. Just tell us what we need to do. It's like, you guys, you have to go to school. You have to go somewhere eventually. Like, calm down. It's so funny. I, I, it made me remember something my mom always used to tell me. She'd always be like, I brought you into this world, and I can take you out of it. <sighs> yes, you guys have all got that one, right? <laughs> It's like, I don't know what that means. Um, exactly, she brought me into this world, but she, death? <laughs> Did my mom just give me a death threat? It's like extremely nerve wracking, you know? Um, yeah, but I spent a lot of time with my three nephews. Did I mention they were all boys? Um, and they're, yeah, <laughs> they're ages five, three, and one years old. And um, I remember my five-year-old nephew was looking at me funny and I was like, um, what's up, bro? <laughs> And he's like, how old are you? <laughs> and I was like curious, I'm like, how old do you think I am? He's like, 270? <laughs> I was like, I'm not that old. And he's like, relax, it's under 100. I'm like, I know I started seeing wrinkles on my skin, but I'm 270 years old. <laughs> it's very upsetting, guys. It's very disheartening to hear that from somebody, even though he's only five. But it made me remember what I used to think when I was a little kid. I remember someone told me they were 25 once, and I said, 25? Do you have grandkids? <laughs> like, I said that. I was like, gosh, I was the worst. <laughs> like, seriously. And then later on that day, I remember I went to the bathroom and tried the door handle and it was locked. And I was like, what the? And then all of a sudden I hear, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, he's busy, okay? <laughs> it's my three-year-old nephew in there. And I just hear him like, you know, going through a lot, you know, sweating it out probably. <laughs> <laughs> Once he gets out, he like walks right up to me and he's like, today my poop looked like a penis. 
like, it's pretty accurate, but like, but also made me worry because I was like, what's it look like on other days? <laughs> you know? I was like, good, that's, that's great. And then I remember as it was like starting to get around eight o'clock, my sister's like, oh, I gotta put Ashton to bed, which is my one-year-old nephew. He's a ginger baby, so he's very special to my heart. Obviously, gotta keep those close. Um, and uh, she's like, we need a book to read to him. He likes that. I'm like, most one-year-olds like that, but okay, I'm on, I'm in. And she's like, oh, I can't find one anywhere. Oh, this'll do. And she grabs the Indiana State Fair program. The Indiana State Fair program of events. Um, she walks into the room, and I hear her say things like, the swine barn is located at the West Pavilion. <laughs> cool. I'm like, oh no. I come from a family that's ghetto. This is what this is. This is what this is. She moves on. I hear her say something like, new this year, the colossal grilled cheese sandwich. Three breaded mozzarella sticks stuck between two slices of Swiss cheese, stuck between two slices of cheddar cheese, all pressed between two slices of sourdough bread with a salted caramel milkshake to boot. <laughs> sounds yummy. I'm like, sounds like diarrhea. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be lactose intolerant and you'd have uncomfortable pain after that. That's all I'm saying, right? I mean, Indiana, like that's new this year, like, that's what you're, you're promoting. Okay, that's Indiana for you. They have crazy food like that. Deep fried whatever you want. Deep fried your finger. I don't know, you know? <laughs> and they also have very conservative rules, okay? I remember in middle school, they had this rule about shorts, that you couldn't wear shorts shorter than your fingertip length with your arms next to your sides. That was a rule. That's not an inches rule. That's a rule about your genetics, your, your arm length. And unfortunately, I was born with the longest arms, I swear, because my shorts had to be this length. <laughs> they don't make shorts that length, people. They don't make shorts that length. And I remember there was a girl in my class, and I'll never forget her. What was her name again? <laughs> <laughs> um, she had the shortest arms you've ever seen. Oh, she had the shortest arms. She looked weird in person, but for the shorts rule, huh, came in handy, okay? And she'd come to school with like the shortest shorts you've ever seen, like barely any jean material was there, okay? She'd walk up in school being cool, and the teachers would see the jean material. They'd make eye contact with the jean material, and they'd say, hey, 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 Put your arms at your sides. She'd legit put her arms at her sides. <laughs> they were here and she was free to go, okay? I came to school with the longest shorts I could find at Walmart, okay? I know, Walmart, it's, anyways. And uh, they were to here, which you guys know is long and Walmart length, okay? And they'd be like, hey, 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 put your, and I'd be like, no, no, and they were, they were like, you need to go to the office. You need to be sent home for pants. And I was like, same rule, same rule. Genetics, people, that's not a rule. My arms are long, but the shorts are like, they're good length, okay? I felt sorry for the girl with the hunchback. She had to wear capris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll leave you with this. Speaking of clothes, follow me on this. Have you ever gotten out of the shower at like 4 or 5 p.m. and wondered, do I put on pajamas or regular clothes? <laughs> is it too early for PJs? Or is it too late for regular clothes? And it's that fine line you gotta dance. It's very difficult for me. That's all I wanted you guys to know. That's my time. Thanks, guys. <laughs>